here is the same thing. January rolls around and reminds us of all the things that we have failed at. That we didn't lose our weight or stop smoking or start running or make that money. And loser, now's your chance again. I was sure that setting New Year resolutions is not really a good idea. And when I googled why not to set New Year resolutions, I got 621 million results in under a minute. 59 seconds to be precise. Hallelujah, I'm not alone. And that is the focus of this episode. My take on why resolutions don't work and what you can do instead. Hi, I'm Sheila and this is Lumia 24. Light on! First, some stats for all you left brain people. Only 8% people ever keep the resolutions they made in January. There is a very good and very human reason for this. It's not because of any character weaknesses. It's almost impossible to make motivation last for 365 days. It's not realistic. It's not even human. Actually, there's no form of psychotherapy that I know of which attempts a behavioral change that lasts a year without any other intervention. That out of the way, here's why resolutions really never work. Stop smoking, start losing weight, spend less, more time with the family. These are all the things that we think we sorta, oughta, kinda should do. These are doomed for failure because you've started them in a half ass way based on what you think you should be doing rather than what you really want to be doing. When you should yourself, you create a lot of pressure and the human mind is wired to avoid pressure at all costs, which is why one week into the year and these resolutions are already losing their grip on you. January is during the winter solstice. Remember, winter solstice is all about resting and rejuvenation. When you come off the holidays and fall headlong into the must-do-should-do trap, it's bound not to last. Think about it. You see the whole year stretched out in front of you. You don't think of it as a new start. You're looking at acres and acres of day where you have to, you should follow your goal. It's not very motivating. Change of any kind, whether it's good or bad, is an added stress on your mind and body. Get through January 1st and then re-evaluate. There's a whole 364 other absolutely perfect made for you days available. So if you're setting resolutions because it's January and it's something of a habit and not because you're really committed to making that big change, you will find excuses and you will find reasons not to do it. And that will add to one more thing in your big book of why I'm not good enough. We don't want that now, do we? We already have plenty of negative self-talk going on in our heads. A lot of New Year resolutions imply that you're broken and you need to be fixed. Not true. You're not going to be loved more because you're thinner or richer. You're loved for who you are, messy broken parts and all. I'm in no way suggesting that you wallow in your bad habits, but change it because you want to and not because you have to. Get the difference? So here in my toolbox, I have a gentler, softer tool for you. Ready to use it? I love to call this my dream catcher. So here's what you do. Get out your success journal and make this dream catcher wheel. Label each part like this. What are my wins? What did you achieve this year, big and small, in your relationships, in your health, in your work, in your spiritual practices? Look for what went right. What did I learn from your failures, your disappointments, from things that didn't work out or fell short of your expectations? This is the wisdom that will support you in the new year. What do I want to release? Your habits, behaviors, patterns, situations, relationships that weigh you down. Who do I want to become? And as you walk across the bridge this year into the next, who is the person that is stepping forward? Celebrate who you have become. Describe your presence with five words or phrases. I am or ask. Who am I becoming? This is a more powerful way of reflecting on what's gone by and planning the way forward. After all, 
you have only one life to live. Let's not waste it feeling bad or unworthy. And instead of creating resolutions for an entire year, let's just start with living each day mindfully. Let's just make today good. If you like this video and it totally made sense, show some love, like and share this video. As a woke person, it's your responsibility to awaken others to spread the light folks. And if you're serious about getting your life into high gear, coach with me. Having an accountability partner and someone to just kick you into action is the way to make a good life greater. Call, write, leave a comment in the box below. Take action today.